Hey everybody and welcome to Weight Loss Wednesday. I'm Chef AJ, the creator of the Ultimate Weight Loss Program and this is where I show you recipes from my book, The Secrets to Ultimate Weight Loss, that will help you achieve healthy, permanent and sustainable weight loss. Today I'm making my apple pie rice pudding. So what are we going to start with? Of course, apples and rice. I've already cooked the rice. I always have leftover rice. This is my favorite rice, the brown Texmati organic rice. And I always make sure whenever I cook anything, I batch cook large quantities so I can eat some and freeze some. I'm using the Envy apple because they are the envy of all apples and they're my favorite. They're sweet. They're delicious. I'm very lucky to get them right next door to where I live at Trader Joe's. I'm using golden raisins and of course these are optional. If you're following the Ultimate Weight Loss Program, you know that dried fruit, while healthy, has the, has the water removed. So instead of 200 calories a pound, it's 1300 calories a pound. It's very calorically dense, but if you aren't a food addict and dried fruit isn't a trigger, adding a cup of raisins is just delicious and I prefer the yellow ones. I find them sweeter, but this is absolutely delicious even without the raisins and it can actually be a breakfast. People that are eating the standard American diet and lots of sugar may not find this recipe sweet enough. So if you find it's not sweet enough even with the raisins, you could add a few tablespoons of date paste. You could substitute for the liquid, which is already in my baby three quart instant pot for some of the non-dairy milk. You could put even a little bit of unsweetened apple juice. So I have the non-dairy milk and I have the spice already in the instant pot. I'm gonna add my brown rice to it. I have a friend that doesn't eat rice and she does this with millet and she says it's absolutely delicious. I'm going to add my golden raisins and now, oh that smells good already, I'm going to cut up my apples. But I want to tell you about the spice that I'm using. So in the book it calls for apple pie spice. Well I was out of it. So this wonderful company called Local Spicery sent me this and it's called gingerbread spice and it's so good in this recipe. You don't have to get it but if you do they'll give you 10% off with the code Chef AJ Rocks on this blend and all of my other favorite of their salt free seasonings. Pumpkin pie spice, pepperoni spice which is incredible, Moroccan breakfast spice, porcini rub and Turkish baharat and you can find out more about the company at localspicery.com these are handcrafted natural and they're just really really good so apples I like to cut in a two-step process sometimes I just use my food processor because it's quick but I love this little tool that many people already have at their house this little wedge cutter and then what I do is use another tool that I got at Bed Bath & Beyond, which is called the Vidalia Chop Wizard, which is terrific on onions and zucchini. What I like about it is it makes everything the same size, and it goes pretty quickly. It's great for cucumbers, and it actually has two different size grates, so that you can have, this is, this is actually the larger size, but you could also use the smaller size. And what's kind of cool about it is it has like measuring cup like lines to measure it on the side if you want to do this. So, you know, I don't cut my apples too far in advance because they will brown. If I were going to cut them in advance, then I would probably put a little bit of lemon juice on them so that they wouldn't oxidize. <laughs> the other thing you can do is if you really want to make this recipe, and let's say you didn't have the brown rice already cooked and you didn't want to cook it, well, I buy organic brown rice in the freezer section at both Trader Joe's and Whole Foods, and each little pack is exactly two cups cooked. So that works out really well. And you can see this is filling the whole thing, and this really didn't take very long to make. This apple pie rice pudding is delicious, hot, right when it's ready. You can just release the pressure on the Instant Pot, but it's also good warm, and it's also good at room temperature, and it really doesn't take that long to make. I'm using a three-quart baby iPod, but if you had the bigger one, you could use that as well. But for this recipe, it fits nicely in here, so I'm just going to put all the ingredients together. There's no need to stir. Always when you put the lid on, if you can imagine that this is a clock, you put it on at 11 o'clock, you close the lid, you push this away from you for seal. I'm pushing the manual button, which is, I use this every day, why can't I find it? Five minutes, and we'll come back when it's done and I'll show you what it looks like and how to plate it up. 
So after it came up to pressure, which was pretty quick, it took five minutes to cook, I've already released the pressure because to have you here watching, it will just take two or three minutes. The fuller the unit is, the longer it takes for the steam to come out and release the pressure. If you don't want to release the pressure, you can just let it come down to pressure naturally and after 10 minutes or so, you'll be able to easily open the lid. And when you open the lid, there's these two hinges on both sides so that you can safely put it up there. And you can come and see how beautiful this looks. It smells even better. It's so thick and creamy. It will actually thicken as it cools. And like I said, this is delicious right now hot. If you like, make the pear whipped cream from my book on process. Put the cold on the hot. It's absolutely delicious. And it's also good at room temperature or even cold. And you know, I've even dehydrated this and made delicious crackers. Oh, I wish you could smell this. I really wish you could taste it. And you can if you make the recipe for my book, The Secrets to Ultimate Weight Loss. Thanks so much for watching another episode of Weight Loss Wednesday. I'm Chef AJ, and I truly believe you can have both the health and the body that you so richly deserve, and it can be delicious.